Master, Master. Uh huh. What do you want? Please, Master. Please intercede for me at Pharaoh the Great to exempt me from this season's taxes. I've become old, and my harvest is little. So why have you chosen me? You are a very kind person, and people like you. You are also Pharaoh's companion, and his relative, and he would not turn you down, can you, Master? Don't worry. I will tell him. Would you please tell the Pharaoh also that I am worshiping him? Perhaps he would consider my request. Worshiping him? You feeble-minded. How does he worship a human being? Forgive me, Lord. Only you are worthy of worship. There is nothing worthy of worship but you. Come in, sir. Please. Is the Pharaoh awake? Yes, sir. Moses, son of Omran, and his brother Harun. <laughs> Imagine that he's come to claim that he's a prophet. Moses? He's arguing with the Pharaoh about the sons of Israel. Oh Lord, render you prophet victorious! How I have wished to be near him! But you know, my Lord, that if I show my faith, Pharaoh would kill me. If you have come to us with a real miracle and you are sincere, Moses, then please show it to us. Huh? Oh my God! What is that? Wow. Look at this! What is this? Oh! Oh! Huh? Look at that! Wow! It's a snake! Wow! Oh. Look at this! Wow! Uh. Uh. Your miracle is great, my lord, and so is your might. The rod has turned into a snake. Mm. Mm -hmm. What you have just done, Moses, is nothing but sorcery. I will call together my sorcerers, and they will compete with you. Yes, this will happen on a date that I have set, Moses, the day of ornament. A large crowd will witness your falsehood, for I am the great invincible Pharaoh. Then came the promised day, the day of ornament. People gathered to witness what Moses, peace be upon him, would deal with the sorcerers, magicians, and wizards. How oh, lovely. Today, you will witness the defeat of Moses. I have summoned the best and most renowned sorcerers. This will be a great victory for Pharaoh. Won't it be so? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Yes, of course, sir. Of course, the prophet of God will defeat you, impostor. Go ahead. Begin. We will win with the might of the Pharaoh. Hila, 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 ho! What a miracle! Moses' rod has just turned into a snake. Hey! Oh. It is eating all other snakes. Moses has won. Huh? How did this happen? Praise the God who rendered his prophet victorious and showed his miracle to the people. 
We believe in we the, believe God, of in the God, God of Moses and Harun. And Harun. We, we believe, believe in the God, God of Moses and Harun. And Harun. You yeah. believe in him before I give you permission? He is your chief who has taught you all the magic. No, I will not allow this. You have planned this with your mentor, Moses. Take them and cut off their hands and feet on opposite sides and crucify them on the trunks of the palm trees. This is the punishment of those who disbelieve in me. Help them, Lord, for they believe in you. Come on, move. By God, you will not deny our faith in Moses, no matter what you do to us. Perhaps God will forgive our sins and the magic that you forced us to do. We believe in the God of Harun and Moses. We believe in the God of Harun and Moses. We believe in the God of Harun and Moses. What a miracle! His rod has swallowed all their snakes. It seems that Moses is right. If not, the sorcerers would have prevailed. Is he really a prophet? God strengthens his prophets with miracles, and you have just seen. Huh? Moses has cursed the people of Pharaoh. What? It is the curse of Moses. God has sent us frogs and locusts. We have nothing more to eat. <laughs> God's punishment has begun. It is the curse of Moses. Have mercy upon us and help your prophet Moses. Over Pharaoh, the tyrant. <laughs> Hurry! The Pharaoh is calling for you. What happened? Moses' curse has stricken them. It has stricken all of us. Water has turned into blood, master. How? Yes. Every time he and his men want to drink, water turns into blood. It's terrifying. They're all about to die of thirst, master. Water has turned into blood again. It's the magic of Moses. What do we do now? I think we should get rid of him. Yes. We must kill him. We must kill him and get rid of his magic. Assemble the soldiers and get me the head of Moses. No. I will not stay silent. I will not let them kill him. Their tyranny and oppression have increased and so has their distance from justice. I will not let them kill the prophet of God. Even if I have to sacrifice myself for him. Will you slay a man because he says my lord is God? And indeed he has brought to you clear signs and miracles from your lord? What did you say? Sir Pharaoh, if Moses was a liar, he would harm himself with his lies. However, if he was honest, punishment will inflict all of us. Wouldn't be better for all of us to follow Moses? No. Right is only what I have just said, and no human can possibly know more than I already know. I am Pharaoh the Great! I am Pharaoh the Great, and I'll kill Moses! Yes, I'll kill him, no matter what miracles come! No, no, I fear for you to perish and be punished like many people before you. You all know what happened to the people of Noah, Ad, and Thamud, don't you remember? Stop swindling. You shall witness Moses' death. What deceit are you talking about, Haman? Didn't Yusuf bring us signs before that? Didn't he warn us against abandoning God's worshipping? Didn't he tell us that those who believe in God would be rewarded with mercy and heaven? And that those who disbelieve would anger God and uh, therefore ruin themselves? Uh, 
You swindler, you are exposed. You believe in Moses, don't you? You've betrayed me? I will give you a painful punishment. Didn't you see what I did to the sorcerers? Aren't you afraid of my power? Give up your belief in Moses, or else... By God, I will not give up the right that he led me to. <laughs> my Pharaoh, Moses and the sons of Israel have fled. They are escaping as we speak. They want to cross the sea. Prepare the army. They will not escape me. I will kill them all. As for you, I will severely punish you when I return. Follow me! Oh. 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 O oh Lord, save your prophet and perish your enemy. O oh Lord, save Moses and the believers. You are the most powerful. Show us the wonders of your mind. O oh Lord, answer my prayers. Did you tell the Pharaoh about my request? No, he was very upset. So tell him when he returns. I don't think he will return. What? And so, God saved his prophet Moses after he struck the sea with his rod and split it for the sons of Israel to cross. And when Pharaoh tried to follow him, God drowned him and his army. Praised be God for saving me from the Pharaoh, the tyrant, and for granting victory for his prophet over Pharaoh and his army. There is no God but you. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فستذكرون ما أقول لكم وأفوض أمري إلى الله إن الله بصير بالعباد فوقاه الله سيئات ما مكروا وحاق بآل فرعون سوء العذاب النار يعرضون عليها غدوا وعشيا ويوم تقوم الساعة أدخلوا آل فرعون أشد العذاب صدق الله العظيم You will remember what I've said to you and I entrust my affair to God Surely God ever watches over his servants so God saved him from the evil plots they devised, and the worst of punishments overtook Pharaoh's people. The fire, they will be exposed to it morning and evening, and the day when the hour is established, it will be said, Make Pharaoh's people enter the severest punishment.